The Chicken Metagenome Project is about looking at the most abundant bird and food animal in the world, an important model organism, and charting this unknown territory, what lives inside its gut. And it's, we know that that's important to the health of the organism, of the chicken, uh, its growth and so forth, but we really know very little about it. And we now have the technology to do a definitive job here and actually look in very great detail at what lives there. Chicken is the most abundant bird on the planet. It's the most abundant food animal that humans use. Uh, in a sense, the health and wealth of nations depend on the chicken. We eat the chicken itself, we eat eggs. People even ate chicken, su chicken soup uh, on the far side of the moon, the Apollo astronauts. That's what they ate. Uh, it gives you its idea, an idea of how important it is. But the, the irony is that we know more about the far side of the moon than we know about what lives inside the chicken gut. Uh, there are hundreds of different bacterial species that live in there. Where we've, in our initial survey, chosen to focus on is a part of the chicken gut called the cecum. And there are actually two, there are two cecum in each chicken. And these are like outpocketings of the uh, gastrointestinal tract food passes into these and then sits there for very long periods of time before it's then voided out of the chicken and and we think this is one of the key places where a lot of interesting things happen nutrient absorption and processing and so forth and it's the place in the gastrointestinal tract of the chicken where the microbial load is the highest this is where the largest number and the most diverse population of bacteria live and why we're interested in that is that this chicken gut community, this uh, microbiota, plays an important role in the health and disease of, uh, of, of its resident host. It, it plays an important role in, in priming the development of the gastrointestinal tract, particularly the uh, immune system associated with the gastrointestinal tract. It plays an important role in, in the recovery of nutrients from food and it's clear that with, you know, the, the, the chickens are fed on this very complex carbohydrate diet and much of what's recovered from the diet depends on those microorganisms. And what we hope is that by mining this metagenome we will find many more such enzymes that might be present in that metagenome uh, in small amounts in a particular niche but if actually produced industrially might have uh, important biotechnology roles, might have important roles as uh, food supplements for the chicken to actually improve their, their health and, and their growth rate. We're interested in the food safety issue. We are looking at birds that have Campylobacter and birds that don't have Campylobacter. We hope to get clues about how Campylobacter uh, affects the chicken microbial community how we might be able to better prevent Campylobacter colonisation. There already are industrial products that, uh, where you feed the chickens a mixture of different microbes to keep out Campylobacter. But with better understanding of how these communities work, we may be even able to improve on those and, and put them on a more rational basis. The other primary driver, apart from the scientific importance of this, is that we now have at our disposal technologies that are absolutely amazing in terms of throughput. So we can use this new approach of high throughput sequencing to, to get a, a much deeper picture, you know, a definitive census, if you like, of what lives in the chicken gut that far exceeds what we were capable of doing even five years ago. So it's, it's the it's the two things coming together, this well-posed question and, and this interesting kind of internal environment within the chicken gut that's un, un, unexplored and the availability of new technologies to make that job tractable.